Ask any automotive enthusiast what Hyundai's Halo vehicle is, and of course they'll say it's the Veloster N. Why not? It's a sporty hot hatch, 275 horsepower, priced right, and everybody who's an enthusiast wants one. It's a lot of fun to drive. Ask a senior executive at Hyundai what their Halo car is, and they'll say the Nexo, the hydrogen fuel cell SUV Nexo. This vehicle's all new. The Nexo is essentially an electric vehicle, whereas instead of using batteries to generate electricity, it uses hydrogen to generate electricity. It drives like an electric vehicle, and it's, I think, a very good-looking vehicle. Hyundai put a lot of effort into this. They wanted it to uh, look something futuristic mission accomplished. They wanted it to be edgy and premium looking. Again, a lot of German engineers and designers worked on this. Uh, so I see a lot of Mercedes and Audi influence in this vehicle uh, pretty much from every angle you look at. It's turned a lot of heads over the last week and uh, I'll give you a little overview of the all-new Nexo. As mentioned, this is an electric vehicle that's powered by hydrogen and it's not going to be as fast as a Porsche Taycan or a uh, Tesla Model S, but it is pretty fast. In fact, it just set a world speed record, land speed record of 107 miles per hour. So it is the fastest speed that a hydrogen uh, fuel cell SUV has ever gone. Uh, pretty impressive. It was done at Bonneville and, uh, you know, did it make a lot of sound? No, it didn't. It's an electric vehicle. But what's nice about it is that knowing you could be this efficient with your vehicle uh, and also have the ability to go 107 miles per hour, that is impressive. One of the nice features of the Nexo is that when you walk up to it, if you have the keys in your hand or even in your pocket, the door handles pop out, the mirrors pop out. Uh, it just kind of gives you this, this feeling you're coming up to a more premium vehicle and not an economy vehicle. And it's, again, certainly not an economy vehicle. Uh, this vehicle will retail for around $50,000, give or take. I say that because there are only three dealers that are even offering these in California, one in Northern California and two in Southern California. So uh, they're really in limited supply. Uh, and uh, let's talk a little bit though about the infrastructure because that really is the issue. The, the Nexo is a rock star, but the infrastructure, that uh, has a lot of work to do. Uh, there are about two dozen stations throughout California, but go look at the app. At any given time, uh, about 40 to 50% of them have at least one or two of the nozzles offline. Uh, and there are two different uh, pressures, 35 and 70. With the 35, you can only get half of a fill. Uh, with the 70, you can get a full fill. It takes you about six, seven minutes give or take, uh, how empty it is, and um, that's probably going to run you about $75, but you get three years of free hydrogen with any of the hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. That's just part of the uh, subsidy to get people to embrace this technology. Uh, on a full uh, fill, you get about 350 miles of range. You can get a little bit better than that. It depends on how you drive, but that's what we've been averaging. And that's a nice, that's a nice get. That's right there with a regular gasoline vehicle. The 350 is, is pretty good range for a typical SUV. So if you can get that in six minutes, great. The problem is very few stations and there's a lot of uh, issues with the mechanics right now. Because it's an SUV, it's going to be extremely practical. As you can see, plenty of cargo space, which is what uh, buyers of SUVs expect. Underneath here, I want to talk a little more about safety, are three hydrogen tanks. And people get a little concerned when it comes to hydrogen. But we, we saw the video from the crash test. And I can tell you, these things uh, are bulletproof. They have five layers of protection. But uh, take it one step further, in the event of an accident, they will uh, instantly disconnect. So there's n no chance of them uh, you know, exploding your car. Uh, Hyundai went through a lot of uh, you know, different levels of safety to make sure that uh, this vehicle stands up to, to basically anything you can uh, throw at it. The Nexo's interior is extremely roomy, as you can see, very spacious, very well thought out, and very premium compared to its competitors, the Mirai and Clarity. Uh, they definitely went upscale with this. You could tell that for Toyota and Honda, those vehicles are definitely ab about the technology, but uh, more geared towards economy, kind of in that Prius 
plus range, uh, whereas the Nexo is a standalone that is really geared towards upscale uh, premium buyers. And it shows. Uh, you can just tell by the materials that they're using, the size of the screens, uh, everything about it uh, just feels upscale and premium. So you have these uh, paddle shifters and the way they work is you have four levels. You could be at zero and one, two, or three. And the higher the number, as you can see, uh, the vehicle will break harder, uh, regenerate the batteries faster. So it just depends how aggressive you want to be. For some people, three is a little too much. Zero is not enough. So you have a couple of options in between. The, the use of the colors in here, very light, uh, very high tech, and just uh, give you a very uh, calm, kind of peaceful feeling that not only are you driving a beautiful vehicle, but you, you're also uh, emitting zero pollutants because you're using hydrogen, which emits water. So uh, kudos to, uh, to Hyundai and to Toyota and Honda. This is not an easy task uh, that they are embarking on. Uh, if it was, all the other car companies would be doing it. They're, everyone that they sell, they're, they're selling at a significant loss. And uh, that's by design because uh, right now, uh, you, there just isn't enough infrastructure. The infrastructure is a disaster. I've mentioned it before, I'll say it again. Just a complete disaster. It took us, uh, we visited probably three or four stations. When you look uh, at the app and see which stations are available and then take it one step further and see which ones are online. So there's a 35 and a 70 uh, PSI. Um, <coughs> there are two types of nozzles, 35 and 70. So the 35 will only give you half a tank. So if you have a half and you wanted to top it off, you can't with the 35. So you got to go to the 70. And a couple of the 70s that we went to were, were offline. So that just doesn't work. I think it's gonna get there. It's just gonna take time. This is a California only vehicle. Uh, all the, the whole hydrogen technology is unique to California. And um, this is a good state to test it in. Uh, a lot of vehicles uh, here, a lot of people here. And I think this, we have the roads and the uh, infrastructure to really uh, address people's concerns and I think more and more stations are going to be coming online. As far as driving the vehicle, it feels like basically any, uh, you know, any electric vehicle that you've driven. One thing I'm not a fan of is the Nexo steering. It feels a little disconnected. It feels uh, like there's a lot of play in it. And when you put the lane keep assist on, it's very aggressive, uh, almost almost too much. And it's constantly moving the steering wheel. Uh, I felt like it was fighting me the whole time. So enough about that. I do like all the, the buttons. The, the center console is really uh, brilliant. It, it feels feels like they copied Porsche a little bit. That's, if you're going to copy someone, might as well copy a brand like Porsche. There's a, just a lot of German feel to this vehicle. And again, a lot of Germans from Hyundai have worked on this vehicle. So there's there's no doubt, but uh, just, just how they've uh, presented this vehicle that, you know, just because it's a green car doesn't mean it has to be cheap. It has to be, uh, you know, kind of an economical car. It, more than that, it feels like a premium car. And again, you have to get in one of these. If you're lucky enough to be in California and you go test drive, only three dealers, two in Southern California and one Hyundai dealer in Northern California that even sell these. So as you can imagine, these are not easy to find. It is the only SUV hydrogen fuel cell vehicle you can buy today. And when you're the only one, you can pretty much charge a premium. Expect to spend about somewhere between five and six hundred dollars a month for a lease uh, but you will get essentially free fuel for the first three years so those are those are the trade-offs and as someone who paid for fuel this week i can tell you it's not cheap it's a little bit cheaper than than gasoline but it's really not that uh that cheap uh, you know it goes by kilograms and uh like i paid about uh, 43 dollars for half of a fill-up so just to give you uh, and that's that will give you about 175 miles of range now that's one station they can, you know they, obviously the prices can vary uh, just wanted to give you some uh, perspective 
Acceleration's not bad. I don't feel like this vehicle is sluggish, but it's also not a uh, Tesla Model S either. It's fast enough. It actually just broke a land speed record at 107 miles an hour, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, fastest hydrogen fuel cell vehicle uh, in the world. So there you go. And it's extremely safe. IIHS gave it a top safety rating plus. <clears throat> it was really uh, fascinating to see the crashed vehicles and just how, how crash worthy they were. And I know there's a lot of concern about the tanks and whatnot, but don't even think about it. Uh, there are so many layers of protection on these tanks, uh, it would really take a monumental, catastrophic uh, collision to, to ignite those. And, and as soon as there's an accident, the, the tanks disengage. Uh, th this vehicle is very well thought of. There's a reason why it costs Hyundai so much money to to build and develop this vehicle. So uh, again, if you're lucky enough to to get one, I think you'll be rewarded if you can put up with the with, with the, some of the issues of the uh, infrastructure. It'll be great. So you know, I like the steering wheel. It's unique to the Nexo. A lot of things in here are unique to the Nexo. You have this large infotainment screen, large display for the instrument cluster, and the center stack that is uh, again very uh, Pana Porsche. Panamera like I really like it uh, again everything you, it feels very premium very tactile and uh, you could tell they went they went all out here this not not that Hyundai's are cheap by any stretch of the imagination they're really nice the new Palisade has a lot of upper end materials but you can just tell that they went a step further uh, if you put a Genesis badge on this which is Hyundai's luxury brand nobody would even blink. They would say, oh, that's a really nice Genesis hydrogen fuel cell SUV. But they put a Hyundai badge because it's more important to Hyundai to have a, a vehicle uh, that can make such a statement and really stand up to the, the big boys, Honda and Toyota. And that's really what they've done is said, oh, you guys make, made a hydrogen fuel cell? That's cute. Well, we're, we're not going to just make a hatchback like you did we're actually going to make an suv because that's what's trending right now that's what's hot and that's what they delivered and that's what makes the nexo so unique so what's the bottom line on the nexo is it the answer to all of our transportation needs for the future probably not but it's an electric vehicle and i do think electrification is going to be the foundation of our uh, future driving needs and hydrogen is one way that we can get that electric motor to, uh, to go and uh, if we can get the supply up we can get the infrastructure going who knows we might see dozens of hydrogen fuel cell cars in the near future it makes a lot of sense uh, zero emissions uh, you're going to get the carpool sticker if you're in california so a lot of benefits the tax the tax uh, credit the uh, the rebate check from california so a, a lot of things to to help offset the cost mentioned the free fuel for for three years so uh, if you are in the market for one of these um, any one of them are really good but this is the only suv hydrogen fuel cell you can get I'm Ron Doran. Thanks for watching. See you next time on The Driver's Seat.